डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू आवर क्लास ऑन माइक्रो मेटरोलॉजी ऑफ क्रॉप्स वाटर टू एज ए सेड इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ वाटर वन सोलर रेडिएशन टेम्परेचर विंड फाइव शार्ट वीडियोस वी हैव पब्लिश ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज द सेकंड इन द सीरीज ऑफ वाटर वाटर इज in terms of uh, we cannot say in the micrometrology solar radiation temperature wind like uh, water we cannot say from uh, uh, rainfall okay we cannot keep the title as rainfall here that's why so in every book whether it is european books whether it is in american books whether it is in uh, of course uh, asian books uh, so here in the micrometrology we mention as water now so in this class uh, we are going to understand the relationship between transpiration and dry matter the relationship between transpiration and dry matter even in 2021 december okay most of the crop growth models uh, uh, more in uh, most of even desat decision support system for agro technology transfer latest models also take into consideration the dry matter produced the dry matter produced is directly proportional to the intercepted photosynthetically active radiation ipar we call it as so dry matter production is very very important in determining the growth development finally the yields of all agriculture crops so that's why in this class we are trying to understand the relationship between the transpiration and dry matter transpiration and dry matter now see uh, when uh, there is a heat load on the leaves say for example there is a heat load on the leaves of uh, any uh, orchard crop that means plantation crop or on any okay agricultural crop agriculturally important crop okay on any crop okay or any orchard crop or any agricultural crop here the most important thing is uh, uh, as i said several times even in the basics also plants cannot move from where they are grown okay that's why they have to modify their own microclimate okay how they modify their own microclimate say for example in case of uh, heavy uh, or high solar radiation therefore uh, temperature of the leaves goes on increasing once the temperature of leaves are goes on increasing what happens physiological activity ceases so they how to survive plants how to survive so what happens transpiration is one of the mechanisms to dissipate the heat the other things you know conduction convection and of course long wave radiation okay and even reflection from the leaves these are all the things which we discuss in the advanced classes of pg level ph level in the micrometrology now here the transpiration some basics we try to understand so that our agricultural meteorology Uh, uh course with reference to micrometrology is fulfilled the objective is fulfilled now here the uh, actually the loss of water from the living parts of the plants is known as transpiration so there are three types of transpirations uh cuticular lenticular stomatal of course the fourth one is uh, okay uh, it, it it is uh, okay it's not there uh, in the advanced uh, uh, books so uh, number 1 is the cuticular transpiration number 2 is the lenticular transpiration the third one is the uh, stomatal uh, transpiration stomatal transpiration accounts for 85% approximately cuticular lenticular 55% approximately of course uh, lenticels and other uh, okay exudates goes uh, uh, from the leaves uh, a combination of one or two so that is the fourth one so that is purely physiological as agreement plant physiological aspect now here so the transpiration is the process in which the water from the living parts of the plant particularly the leaves is converted into vapor okay water is converted into uh, gaseous form otherwise leave uh, the loss of water from the living parts of the plant we call it as the transpiration what is the evaporation evaporation non living part that is the soil what is uh, evapotranspiration the combined loss of uh, water both from the 
non living part like soil and the living part like the uh, uh, leaves and uh, other parts of the plant here please uh, understand very basic things uh, transpiration takes place in leaves uh, through stomata Trans as far as individual leaves are concerned the transpiration takes place through stomata usually for a crop of uh, for a crop like maize uh, both uh, upper part of the leaf and lower part of the leaf have uh, almost same number of the stomata for uh, orchard crops for in case of orchard crop okay bigger bigger trees are orchard crop okay like this uh, almost negligible uh, amount of stomata on the epidermis of the leaves 99% of the stomata are on the lower side of the leaves of the orchard crop or big trees so here i would like to imp um, uh, uh, impress upon you that uh, the transpiration goes on taking place it is almost nil during the night time it is almost nil during the night time but during the day time depending upon the load of the solar radiation whether it is high radiation or low radiation so okay transpiration takes place here please write very very important points two points i will tell please write these are certain to appear in your srf exam of course senior research fellow exam please write the plant growth reduces the plant growth reduces or stops even plant growth reduces or stops when plants are grown under when plants are grown under high relative humidities high or h otherwise high relative humidities and the situations under which transpiration is stopped under which transpiration is stopped this is the first statement please write the second statement two minutes back i told how the temperature of the leaves okay uh, they themselves plants themselves can reduce their own temperature because they cannot move from outside into a comfortable place when high temperature is there please write this important but this is certain to come in your srf even a question may be asked in your interviews also transpiration rate of uh, transpiration rate of uh, only 0. 0.0005 transpiration rate of uh, only 0. 0.0005 5 of a gram of water gram of water per square centimeter per square centimeter 0. 0.0005 grams of water per square centimeter area from the leaves okay per minute per minute gives rise to an energy loss of gives rise to an energy loss of 0.3 of a calorie 0.3 of a calorie the meaning is if you take a square centimeter area in one minute 0. 0.0005 grams of water from this one square centimeter is lost how much energy is spent here 0.3 of a calorie is spent now through this uh, okay please write this is important this is enough to lower the temperature of uh, this is enough to lower the temperature of a transpiring leaf transpiring leaf by as much as by as much as just hold your breath as much as a dash 15 degrees centigrade 15 degrees centigrade so that much is the importance of a, okay um, uh, high or low solar radiation and uh, water transpired and uh, okay dry matter produced so this much uh, is the importance of it again uh, please uh, note that uh, okay the cooling effects of high transpiration rates uh, under low humidity is uh, the cooling effect of the cooling effects of a uh, high temperature under low humidities what of a considerable benefit to plant growth and development plant growth and development this is a uh, very interesting thing and uh, again the uh, very special situations under very special situations uh, two conditions are there high solar radiation maximum rh please see high solar radiation maximum relative humidity in the uh, microclimate of the crop 
and soil moisture is at field capacity. Three situations. High solar radiation, very high humidity is of approximately 99% and the soil moisture is at the full field capacity. No dearth of water, very good solar radiation, very high temperature. Here what happens is the leaves of the crops tilt downwards. The leaves of the crops tilt downwards. Why? Why and why? This is what we call it as the midday depression. Midday depression. This is what we call this bit will come midday depression. Why? Because under high humidity, high solar radiation, amount of water is not a problem from the soil because the high solar radiation coupled with high humidity virtually transpiration is not going on. So uh, this uh, uh, call it as a uh, okay midday depression midday depression agronomist may define however as agrometeorologist we should suggest application point of view in this class take home excellent research finding i am going to share with you sprinkling of water water through sprinkling sprinkler irrigation is the best solution under such conditions where where and where high solar radiation, high humidity, what is not a limiting factor still what we should do, we should go for sprinkler irrigation so that uh, the crop uh, grows well. This is the take home for this class as far as application is concerned. Last one minute I would like to share with you the relationship between the the relationship between the yield of dry matter and uh, water transpired. Yield of dry matter and water transpired. See as I said in the beginning of the class even in the latest models of uh, okay, crop growth simulation models of nation support system for agro technology transfer where I had the opportunity, I was very fortunate uh, to get uh, trained on DSAT models uh, with uh, the pioneers of uh, the system, uh, Kim um, and uh, Jim Jones, Ken Bute, uh, Garrett Huhanboom and uh, all those scientists. Here I said that in the beginning of the class, the dry matter production, the dry matter production is uh, directly proportional to the intercepted VR. Here, the dry matter production with reference to evapotranspiration and uh, uh, transpiration or uh, so many functions were developed. In the early 1950s, uh, uh, okay, Jen Hu Chang, uh, uh, he had uh, extensively reviewed the relationship between the yield of dry matter and uh, transpiration of uh, words. Uh, yield of dry matter in grabs, water transpired in liters. Uh, so, as the water going on transpiring uh, is increased, uh, the dry matter is uh, there is a linear relation. This bit will come. There is a linear relation between water transpired and dry matter, yield of dry matter produced. So this is what I would like to say. Last half minute, very important. Transpiration dry matter. In areas of high radiation, M is equal to BW by E0. In areas of low radiation, M is equal to CW. The relation only. Again, here I would like to share with you what is M. M is the total dry matter production. M is the total dry matter production. W is the total transpiration, E0 is the free water evaporation, B and C are the constants, B, okay, 20.7 for sorghum, 11.5 for wheat, C, 6.1 for beets, that means sugar beet, and 3.4 for peas. So, B and C are the dependent on climatic condition, dependent on the climatic condition, under the high solar radiation conditions, M. Yeah. Okay, total dry matter is a function of transpiration, free water evaporation and a constant. Under low, of course, okay, here only W is there, free water evaporation is not there. So this is what I would like to share with you. Take home in this class is midday depression. Midday depression is the uh, loss of water from uh, under best conditions, uh, excellent solar radiation, very wonderful uh, uh, field capacity of the soil moisture. However, 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 there is a high RHA. Plants uh, won't uh, perform well. The uh, recommended is uh, sprinkler irrigation, even though field capacity water is there. Thanking you for your patient hearing.